welcome to the Wild Gut Project. My name is Carrie. If you're new here, this channel is all about being vegan on the low FODMAP diet for Itwell Bar Syndrome. And a couple weeks ago, I made a video basically saying that it's really offensive when we're told that stress is the cause of our IBS, because, I mean, it's just not the case, and it's also not helpful. But I did say, and a lot of people say in discussion, stress obviously does exacerbate symptoms. So you can have IBS, it just gets worse if you're really stressed, which is like the least helpful thing for your body to do in that moment, obviously. So I wanted to share with you my kind of like SOS stress routine, because it's all really good to have healthy habits that stop you getting stressed, but sometimes life does get too much, and then you need to do something in that moment to kind of bring down your adrenaline, bring down your cortisol, and just help your body reset and kind of regain some control in the situation. So these are the things I've kind of made a real point of doing whenever I feel like it's getting too much and it's really helped me mentally. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share these with you. Okay. So these are kind of mostly geared towards an evening when you're trying to like get over the day when everything's getting a bit much, but you probably could do them at any time. The first one is in the moment when you're feeling really stressed, like straight after a very stressful event. A study did find you can kind of immediately calm yourself down by listening to bi binaural, binaural beats for like 15 minutes. So if I am feeling like my body is just like coursing with cortisol and adrenaline, I'm just like can't handle it. Just going to lie down on the bed, having headphones in obviously, and listening to some binaural beats, like there's loads of videos on YouTube. And just making myself like sit with it and let that feeling pass, because adrenaline doesn't stay in your body for very long, you just have to kind of wait it out. And I find this actually really calming, kind of more than a guided meditation because you just, you don't have to try so hard. So that's like my first step. Usually I need a good, hearty, very simple low FODMAP meal. So my always kind of go-to for that kind of thing is usually some potatoes, kale, tomatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper, like just something hearty and warm. Not necessarily super balanced or healthy. It just, it's not bad and I just feel like it sits well with me. So your equivalent of that meal would also be good. And then if I have the time and my body feels up to it, because obviously there's kind of like tired stress and then there's like too much adrenaline stress. Oh, the dog barking. Um, is go for a walk outside, preferably in nature, not really an option in kind of zone two in London. So especially in the evening, so just go for a walk and get some fresh air. And then the thing that I found really powerful is getting some like scrap paper and writing out everything that is bothering me, like actually every single little tiny problem and you can let yourself be really dramatic with it and kind of number them and then on the other side or the next page or corresponding numbers start just brain dumping all your options, all the things you can do, all the things you have to do, ways you can make it easier, things you don't maybe have to actually bother doing and just listing it all out because you know your working memory can only hold so much information and if it thinks it has to constantly remember something, it keeps bringing it back and it kind of turns into that ruminating, making you feel worse kind of thought pattern. So putting it on paper helps you, your brain stop holding onto it. And it also means you can see that maybe, it, oh, it's actually only like 10 things which are really bothering me. And eight of those have very, very clear solutions. And I have some things I could do to help me work out what I can do for the next two. And any of those things you can do right then do. Normally it's like message someone, Google something, buy something, you know, get rid of something. Getting your problem solving mind on rather than your worrying mind is the thing that really helps. And then let it go. You've calmed then the initial kind of adrenaline, you've gone for a walk, you've got some air, you've fed yourself, you've kind of emptied your mind as best as you can, then it's time to get ready for bed because for me if I'm really stressed and not handling it it's because I'm not sleeping and you can obviously get that feedback loop of being stressed so you don't sleep and then getting more stressed but you need to do something to stop that cycle and you need to have a really good night's sleep and this for me works pretty much every time and it's having a really hot bath. So here I'm having bubbles, I don't usually just look better because I'm wearing a swimming costume but just some essential oils, maybe some Epsom salt if you're feeling fancy but it has to be really hot because the thing is you want to raise your peripheral like body temperature and your core temperature slightly and then let it cool down afterwards. There was a study and they've done this um, with saunas and also hot baths but basically they take patients who are depressed and they get them to do that, raise the body temperature, let it cool down and it reduces inflammation and then it also improves people's mood over time. So it's good on that front but then for sleep 
your body, your core body temperature falling slightly is one of the kind of cues for your body to sleep because obviously if we were living in the wild, getting cool at night is a sign it's time to sleep and that's your, gonna happen to your body. It doesn't happen so much in central heating so this is a way to mimic it. So I used to hate baths, I used to think they were really boring and a really inefficient way to get clean. So this isn't about washing, this is about kind of calming your mind. So what I always do is use insight timers, listen to either a guided meditation or some relaxing music for like half an hour and just focus on my breath and the feeling and really use it as a meditation. Like it has to be a meditation for me otherwise I'm really bored and then I'm still thinking about all the problems. And then it will get to a point, if it's really hot, where it will just be a bit uncomfortable. And then I'll just make myself stay in it for like 10 or 15 more slow breaths. And I don't know what it is about that last part, but it just suddenly like flips my brain. And then I, I get out and I feel so calm and just like on a different level and really relaxed. And that's when you go straight to bed and have a lovely deep sleep and wake up the next morning, hopefully on a much better side of the bed and able to cope with everything. And I don't know what it is, it's just like magic. It really, yeah, different level, different level of calm. So this is what I do now, it's like my strategy when things get too much, when I need to just completely relax and stop the negative cycle. I'd be really interested to know if you have any strategies, what things you like to do, because I think the more tactics you have, the better. So please comment down below. I hope this was useful and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.